this video I'm going to show you how to figure out what angles measures are in a parallelogram that happens to have a diagonal in the middle. Okay? So we've got our parallelogram ABDC, or ACDB, any way you want to call it, and it has a diagonal through the middle. Alright? How we can use this is that we know, if you watch my consecutive angles video, that any two angles that are next to each other that are attached by a side, they should add up to 180. They're supplementary. So I know that angles B and D are supplementary, just like D and C and C and A and A and B. All of them. Any two pairs that you pick that are next to each other add up to 180. So I'm going to focus in on D and B. These two angles add up to 180. And I know that if you guys didn't see this diagonal here, you probably would have no issue with doing that. We still won't have an issue here. I want you to look at angle D. D is just 71 degrees. Easy enough. But angle B is where you see the issue. Angle B is split into this angle, 5x minus 2, and this angle, 8x plus 7. You've got this angle DBC and this angle CBA. Well, if we added these together, we'd have all of angle B. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to add these two angles up so that I have angle B. Because remember, I know that if I add these two angles, I get 180. So really, all you have to do is add these first, and then add this, and you'll get 180. Okay? Add the two angles that make up the large angle in the parallelogram, and then add the consecutive one. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to add these three, and I should get 180. Another way you could look at it is since that these sides are parallel, I know that this angle is the same as this angle. This here is also 8x plus 7. And then, I know that this triangle BCD, every triangle has 180 degrees in it. And I have a measurement for all three of them. So I could say this plus this plus this is 180. But if you said this plus this plus this is 180, it's the same equation. It doesn't really matter which way you think about it, because it's the same equation, you'll get the same answer. So let's solve it. I'm going to say 8x plus 7. plus 5x minus 2 plus 71 equals 180. Okay? And then we just combine like terms like we always do. I see a whole lot of stuff on the left side of the equal sign. Some of them are like terms. So I'm going to combine all my x's first. Positive 8x and positive 5x, that's 13x. I've got positive 7 and negative 2. Well, 7 minus 2 is 5. 5 plus 71, that's 76. So 13x plus 76 equals 180. Okay, well now, just solve the equation like you normally do. I want x alone, subtract the 76 from the left, and from the right, we get these are going to cancel, bring down the 13x, bring down your equal sign, and 104. Okay, last step. Divide both sides by 13. And let's see. 104 divided by 13, that should be 8. You get x is equal to 8. Alright, so we solved for x. But we're ne we never stop at x. You always plug it back into the problem to actually find out what your measurements are. Alright? So angle D is definitely 71. There's no question about that. This angle here, DBC, this one, because we care about where the vertex is, DBC is 5 times x minus 2. Well, x is 8. So 5 times 8 is 40. 40 minus 2. And this angle right here, CBD or DBC, is 38 degrees. Okay? This angle here, ABC or CBA, is 8x plus 7. So this is 8 times 8. 64. 64 plus 7 is 71. We should notice that these three angles add up to 180 like we said they would. 71 plus 38 is 109. 109 plus 71 is 180. That's exactly what we want. That's what we got. So when I ask you for the measure of angle A, you can get that. Because D and A are opposite angles, which you should remember are congruent. So D is 71. A is 71. Fill that in. Measure of angle ABC. A, B, C. That doesn't mean add angle A plus angle B plus angle C. That means look at the vertex of this angle, the middle letter, B. A, B, C, 
That traces this angle here, 71. CBD, that angle, CBD, right here, tracing this angle. We found out that was 38 when we plugged in X. And this last one, ABD, ABD, what you might notice is that the vertex here is B, and you're not sure if it's this angle or this angle. Turns out it's both of them combined. So what you need to do is add this angle to this angle. Well, this one's 71, and this one's 38. So when you add 71 and 38, you should get 109. So angle ABD is 109, which would be the same as ACD. If this whole angle is 109, then this whole angle is 109. Okay? And again, if you wanted to fill in the vertical, the, um, the other angles, since these triangles are the same, if this is 38, so is this. If this is 71, so is this. Okay? That's really all there is to the angles in a parallelogram when you have a diagonal in the middle. All right? Hope that helped.